crisis at the U.S.-Mexico border. Thousands of kids alone, scared, separated from their families. Yeah, many placed in facilities and homes across the country, including two kids living right here in Columbus. But they'll soon be reunited with their mother. When she met me, she was real nice. Mm -hmm. Devin was like, real, like, like, ah! Seven-year-old Jack McCarsky is quite the kid with plenty of personality. I wanted to write the letter, but it took like nine days. Pouring it all out in a letter to the president. Dear President Biden, my name is Jack. I'm seven years old. Please call me by my full name, Jack Joseph Gonzalez Macharski. I want to tell you about my new brother and sister. About 14-year-old Kevin and 10-year-old Genesis. Their mom couldn't cross the border. Andy and Jim McCarsky have been fostering the siblings. They left Honduras um, when their father was murdered. We're concealing their identity for safety, but sharing their emotional story. And so we got a phone call from one of our uh, church members um, from First U of Columbus. And they were like, hey, do you know anybody who would um, help to support some unaccompanied minors that are here in, in uh, Columbus? For two years, their biological mother has been waiting for her asylum case to be heard with hopes of reuniting with her kids in the U.S. Mom chose to stay in the camp and not come over illegally. Her asylum case denied twice already. Like any other mom, just wants the best for her children. Um, she had to make the hardest decision. I don't know that I could have made it to send her children unaccompanied across the border. The McCarskys, already parents of four adopted kids, decided they needed to open their home and hearts once again. We kind of decided to, to do a little family meeting and talk to the kids and say, hey, um, you want to make some room for more? <laughs> They're all like, sure. <laughs> I didn't know what they looked like, so it's like I thought they were like really, really good, like really good looking. But there's a bit of a language barrier with the new siblings. Did you understand them? Did they speak English or not? Um, they didn't, but Tennessee learned really fast. Uh -huh. Really fast. Do you know any Spanish words? Um, yeah. C what? means yes. Mm -hmm. But I taught her gatos means cat, but I taught her gatos cat, gatos cat. But one language that everyone can understand, their love for each other. From playing. Usually play Minecraft to having family outings. Also, they love Chinese food. Just like any typical American family, without any worries of kidnappings or violence. Then... <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. This happened just a few months ago. <laughs> she crossed the border and it was just kind of overnight. She landed um, in Texas and um, then, you know, shortly thereafter came to see the kids. <laughs> embracing their biological mom. <laughs> for the first time after being apart for nearly a year. <laughs> it's probably one of the most special things I've ever witnessed. That's why little Jack wanted to write this very important letter to a very important person. Thank you for letting their mom cross the border. I am sad and happy that they're going to be with their mom soon. Thank you. I think you are doing a great job. Your friend, Jack Joseph and Zanny Machowski. That's the end of the whole thing. That's a very short letter. A short letter, but with a powerful message. Thousands of people are. Mm -hmm. And a lot of kids are in jail. From this seven-year-old boy. And the letter wouldn't be complete. It's Godzilla. Without some of his talented artwork. There's happy eyes, yep. Also mailing a drawing of the White House and... And Godzilla. Oh, Kevin and Genesis are still in Columbus until the end of the school year, but they will be moving in permanently with their mom in Texas next month, and we will be there to see the send-off and reunion. We can't wait.